What's going on guys? Today I just wanted to give a quick tutorial on how I make my thumbnails. I had somebody request that recently on Twitter. So yeah, I have really simple thumbnails, so this video is going to be really short, but I'm just going to go over it. Uh, hopefully y'all don't jack it. Just take this as inspiration and use it as an idea to make your own thumbnail. So for this tutorial, I'm uploading a J. Cole type beat right now, and I don't have a thumbnail for that. So I just got a pretty basic image off of Google. Um, all you got to do is drag it in, and if it's too big like this one, just scale it down. Um, YouTube thumbnails are 1280 by 720, so as long as it's bigger than both of those dimensions, you'll be good. Um, make sure that the image that you download is not smaller than either of those images, because then when you try and make it bigger and fill out the thumbnail, it's not going to end up being good quality. So yeah, all I do is I, I drag the picture in, um, then I go to colors, colorize. This is all in GIMP 2.10, by the way. Um, it would work in Photoshop as well. But uh, I have this preset called Nash Blue, and just adjust the hue, saturation, and lightness so you get the color that you want. Drag it to the bottom. I have this triangle, just a stock little image in, uh, in Google Images, just a white triangle. That's all it is. I just put it in the corner because it kind of has a nice contrast to the... Uh, actual picture of the artist and then I just drag my logo in and go here to filter light and shadow and drop shadow uh, and then just add a drop shadow to the, to the logo uh, that's literally that's how I make my thumbnails I just throw it in uh, Premiere CS6 after that put some little par uh, particle looking things on top of it and put the beat on it and then upload to YouTube you're good to go so yeah that's pretty much it um, if you have any more questions feel free to DM me on Twitter or Instagram at Nick Nash Beats and thank you guys for watching let me know what you want to see next